So now that we know how to manually solve linear regression problems using the standard process and formulas given to us straight in the reference handbook, let's see how we can get it done using our calculator. When using our calculators, we will use the built-in functionality of the Casio FX115ES+. What I will do is run through each step of the process, and then I will flip to a video where I will solve the exact problem live, so you can see how it all plays out. So the first step is to activate the data table, so we can store the data we are given in the problem statement. To do this, first hit the mode button, to come to a menu that looks similar to this. Once on this screen, press three. To select option three for statistics, and we will be brought to a menu that looks similar to this. Here you will press two to select option two for A plus BX. We now want to input all the data points. This is where you will fill in all the data points you're given within the problem statement. The X column is where all the X values will be input. The Y column is where all the Y values will be input. So start with the first X data point, which is 1.2, and input that into your calculator and press the equals button. This will take you to the next data line for the X column where you will input the remaining X data points as we just did and press the equals button. Once all the data points are input into the X column, hit the right button to switch over to the Y column. And because you are on the sixth data line, you will need to press the down scroll arrow once. You will now be on the first row of the Y column which represents the Y data points correlated with those X values we just put into our calculator. Input all of these values just as you did for all the X values and once you're complete, hit that AC button. We can now define the variables of the regression line. With all of our data points input into the calculator, it will now do all the dirty work for us. To do this, click the shift button and then the one button to activate the stat distribution functionality which is indicated right there in yellow. You'll be brought to a menu that looks similar to this right here. Press 5 to select option 5 for regression. You'll be now brought to a menu that looks similar to this and with all of our data stored within our calculator it is here that we can get a number of metrics for it. We are also able to solve for a certain independent or dependent value based on that data. The first variable, variable we must define for our regression line is A. So press 1 to select option 1 for A. We will be brought back to the home screen with A displayed. Press the equals button to get our value, which is negative 0.1. For three. We now need to determine the variable B. To do this, click the shift button and then the one button again to activate that stat distribution functionality. You'll be brought back to this same menu as we saw before, but this time, we'll actually this time we'll still press five for option five, regression. We will now see our regression menu this time we'll actually select press 2 to select option B or option 2 for B. We'll be brought back to the home screen with B displayed. Press the equals button to get our value which is 1.051. Adding all this together we get a regression line which is equal to 1.05x minus point one four and this confirms the equation that we previously calculated by hand in the same regression menu in our calculator we can get the goodness of fit which is R by selecting the option in the same way we did for a and B which is 0.99 telling us the line fit is good and actually nearly a perfect straight line which we already knew so let's go ahead and flip over to a video 
and see how this problem all plays out live.